What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, and this time we're going to be talking about Vegito Blue, and what I would like to see out of the character when it comes time for him to be added into Dragon Ball Fighters. Now I've done a video like this for all of the DLC characters in Dragon Ball Fighters, but Vegito is special in the fact that he's the first character being added into the game that I really didn't care for as a character. Funnily enough, Dragon Ball Fighters addresses most of what I didn't like about Vegito whenever he appeared in the Dragon Ball games, that being the fact that he was always so much more powerful than the rest of the cast. Characters like Vegito and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta always really pushed in my favorite team of Krillin, Tien, and Yamcha. But obviously with Dragon Ball Fighters being a very focused 2D fighting game, balance is a must for all these characters, so they can't really use the crutch of having him be overpowered as a way to demonstrate Vegito's enormous power. But it is very important that he does still demonstrate this power in some way, as I do believe it's a massive part of his character. Vegito wouldn't be Vegito if he wasn't so cocky all of the time, so I would really love to see some of that cockiness represented in the game. Whether it be through his moveset, or just his idle stance when he's facing the opponent, whether they go with a visual or audio cue, it really doesn't matter as long as there's some way that demonstrates that Vegito really isn't taking his opponent as serious as he probably should be. We do see a little bit of his character in the trailer when he crosses his arms and just use his legs to kick around his opponent like he did with Boo, but I would really love to see even more of this when the character officially comes out. For example, that move we see in the trailer where Vegito just chucks Amasu across the screen, that's some real grade A material right there. As for visuals, there's not a lot I could say that Arxis isn't already knocking it out of the park. Visually, this trailer is probably one of the best we've gotten so far. We get to see a lot of Vegito's moves and his intro is one of the best. I really enjoy seeing the ones that show the characters in the back as well as the main character. The supers on display play here are also extremely enjoyable to watch. We have two level 1s from what I can assume, one where Vegito punches them into the ground and another where he uses the spirit sword. A lot of people were comparing this to MVC2, and that's really not a bad comparison to make. And of course he has his level 3 with the final Kamehameha and it flashes both Goku and Vegeta. I thought that was a really good way of keeping the final Kamehameha as his final, and also making it a little more cinematic. And it appears that a lot of people online really liked that level 3, as there was a lot of people talking exclusively about that. Really, the only thing visually we don't get to see is his outro, and that's what has me the most curious. I think I would love to see him stay as Vegito in his outro, but I think seeing them split up into Goku and Vegeta again would be pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments below, as I'm really curious about what people think about that. If I was a betting man though, I would probably bet that he is going to split up into Goku and Vegeta, as the amount of time Vegito could stay Vegito was a big plot point in the arc. Moving on to gameplay, I think Vegito has a unique opportunity to combine what we see in both Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. With Vegito being the first fusion of two different playable characters, I think it would make for a really interesting gameplay experience to see moves from both of the characters combined into one. Now from the trailer we can see that this is happening to at least a very small degree, like combining Vegeta's grab with instant transmission. I would love to see more of that in things that aren't just supers though. You don't have to go too overboard on the concept to where Vegito doesn't feel like an individual character character, but I would love to see at least a few nods to each of their movesets. And the last thing I would love to see for Vegito Blue in terms of gameplay is for him to be a very rushed down heavy character. Now I know Dragon Ball Fighters in general is a pretty rushed down heavy game, but I would really love to see Vegito Blue excel in this area. Feel free to disagree with me on this, but I just think Vegito Blue would be a lot of fun to just leave the gimmicks at home and just rush straight into doing block strings and trying to cross up your opponent. And with that, that's everything I want to see out of Vegito Blue when he comes to Dragon Ball Fighters. I know this video is a lot shorter than usual, but being a Vegito fan is kind of new to me, and a lot of the old games I would really hate to see Vegito as a playable character, because I knew that meant all my friends were going to pick him and really wipe the floor with my Krillin. But in this game, it's really something different. The trailer got me really excited for the character, and I would love to hear your favorite Vegito moments, or your favorite games that Vegito's appeared in over the years in the comments below. While you're down there, if you like this video and enjoy the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description below. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.